practice test so that uh, you can see the kind of things um, you're going to be answered and then you don't have the helps. So that makes you kind of helps you see what you don't know. All right. That being said, let's jump into these resets. I have a question. Will I see the the initial knowledge check? After I do that, will I get the assignment? Or okay, the knowledge check, preferably, you know, that's the thing you should do first because you're not going to, you can, you can skip through it, but that's at your own risk to do that. Uh, but yeah, once you finish the knowledge check, then you start getting the assignments. Okay, that's why I'm going to do. All right. But it's what they call a learning path. It's continuous. It's not like in my math lab, if that's what you're used to, where there's separate assignments. It's, it goes through a continuous path, and you should be at a certain spot by a particular date. But you never, uh, they never, they don't let you get by by skipping things. You've got to go through the things, all the things in lesson. If you don't do that knowledge check, then it puts more stuff in there. Okay. Okay. And what about the, um, so after I do that, it will it will allow me to you know do the assignments that you have for responders. No, 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 no. You can do that beforehand, the assignment, the respondents thing. But generally, if you were, uh, you should be able to do that at any time if there's a due date, you know, on it. like I said, there was a due date on it. So uh, there's a difference between the assignments, which are only the practice tests, is coded as a quiz and the actual test. That's the only thing under assignments. The other thing is called the learning path. It's, you can think of it as homework, but it's not individual assignments. It's kind of one linear track you're going on that takes you through the lessons for this chapter. And it's, you know, you got certain uh, benchmarks to meet. When you master it, it lets you move on to the next objective, move on to the next objective when you master them. So that's the, kind of the way it works. Um, it's, 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 it's hard to explain. That's why I, what, what, what I tried to do is get everybody the first day to I'll start working on that knowledge check. Because you get that passed, then it starts working normally like it should be. Because the knowledge check. I started check, working on it already. I just was asking. I never finished it. Well, like I said, it is preferably that gets done the first day because let me just tell you, that's not something that you're graded on. What it does is it finds out what you know and it designs your path based upon that. Okay, because there's a lot of stuff after that. There's just all the stuff that we've been going over and it's what it's called. They, they break it down into objectives. Like I said, but it's one long path. That's why they call it the learning path. Yeah, uh, thank you. I see you. All right. Now, let's just uh, jump on this. Hopefully, we'll get this finished. And if you got more questions, we'll be able to deal with them. All right, but we're going to talk about three sets. Now, the book uh, breaks it down like this, where if you've got three sets, each one of those Roman numerals represents a particular sector, all right? So for example, one is only in A, two is in um, the intersection of A and B only, three is in B only, four is A, C only, five is all three, six is B and C only, seven is only C, and eight is in neither one of them, okay? Now, I... Uh, one of the things about Alex, they handle it by shading. I, it's real difficult to do for me to show you that on here. So what I like to do is use these regions. So especially I have people that come to me and say they don't quite understand how the shading works. Well, if you use these regions things, that kind of fixes it for you. So watch this. We'll do it on the board.
So is A union B union C equal to A? Oops, I messed it up. Both the exact same thing. There we go. So now let's just look. And what we're going to do is I'm going to keep going back to that little chart. So I'm going to start on the inside with B union C. Because that's generally what you do. Well, if you're having issues with it, then follow what I'm doing here. And then when you get to the end, it'll tell you which, this will tell you which regions to shade. All right, so go back over and look at those little regions. And the book has these in them. These um, breaks it down into these sectors with the uh, Roman numerals. It's just that Alex handles it with shading only and if you just shade at the very end all right a union b is anything in these two circles so anything on inside of a and anything inside of b so that's one two three four five and six the only thing that it doesn't include is seven and eight So what I'm gonna do is just write those out. And I'm just gonna write them out, type them out. So two, three, is that what I said it was? One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two. Oops, I forgot one. So that represents, oh, and it's not, wait a second. I got them backwards, but it doesn't matter. On the one that I showed you, it was, this one was on the left-hand side. So we just handle it like this. So my fault for doing that, but let's just go ahead. So that's B and C, I got to back up. So B and C is everything but one and um, and eight. When I get it done, I'll uh, take it back over there. All right, so. B union C is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Everything but one, which is an A only, and eight. All right. Now we've got to um, put that together with A. So A is one, two, four, and five. See there? If you just look inside the A only, I'm sorry, the A circle. You got the one, the two, the four, and the five. Anything associated with A are those four. One, two, four, and five. All right. So now the union of these two, and I'm this is the one that I'm doing here. So I'm just going to put those together because the union is essentially just uh, putting them all together. So do I have everything there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's essentially everything but eight. All right. Now. Oops. 
So that's this. That's that left hand side. Like I said, I just wrote them backwards when I wrote them up there. So let's do the other side. So A union B. So this is the one that I try, uh, started to do before, before I realized I had them backwards. So A union B is anything in the two circles, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It, these are the only two that are not in A or B. All right, that's all that's inside of A union B. It actually stops there. It's everything but uh, seven and eight. And then C is equal to what? C is four, five, six, and seven. So just, just make sure you make sure we get it right. Let's go back over there and look. It always pays to double check. So inside of C, four, five, six, and seven. See that? Inside of the C circle is four, five, six, and seven. So now we're going to union together. This one and that one. Because remember, when you union things together, you're simply just tacking them all and putting them all in the same pot. If something appears twice, you only use it once. And there you got it. So what? What does that say? So for example, and this is just um Let's just say equal. So to just answer, uh, Kina, uh, what you said about the shading. So for example, if you wanted to go now and shade, if they gave you one like this, A union, B union, C, and said shade the regions. Well, if you go through this, through this procedure, you can just go and now shade the, rep, the, the, the regions that represent those. In other words, like I said, I can't really show you on here, but you would just go through and shade everything except that outside region. That's the way I handle it. Like I said, I don't really catch on to what Alex is telling me about it. All right, any questions about it? We'll do another one before we... Um, Okay, good. Like I said, yes. uh, the book does the regions like that. I just don't understand why they, why they don't show them in Alex. Like I said, I don't quite understand how they're handling it, but um, every every system's got something that I would change if, if I could, you know. Books and online things, they always got something that's... Um,
a little bit different than I'd like to see. All right, so let's try this other one. It's uh, A complement union with B intersection. Same kind of idea, but we just want to see if these are equal. I'll have to come back and roll that in by hand. So I've got to put an um, intersection here and here. All right, so are they equal? So again, uh, like most things in mathematics, you work from the inside out, go inside parentheses. So inside of the parentheses, we still got something else that's complicated and it's that C complement. So I'm gonna do that first. So what, re uh, what represents, what does C complement represent? Well, let's go back over there and, and look. And remember, C complement is what's not in C. All right? So, if you go and you look at C, you'll see that there's a 4, the 5, the 6, and the 7 inside of C. So, what's not in C is the 1, the 2, the 3, and the 8. So the one, the two, the three, and the eight are not in C. Okay. Now, we need to intersect with B. Um, I'll just go ahead and write what's in B. B is uh, 2, 3, 5, and 6. I'll let you see it real briefly. Even when it's working fast, it takes a while to change over. So, so B is 2, 3, 5, and 6. All of those regions are inside of B. I'm just going to write it over here. Sometimes you don't need to write every one of these down, but if you can't picture it good in your head, then this is the best way to do it. So that's B. Two, three, five, and six. Now that is this one, and that was in and that one. There's the, this one and V, and now we got to intersect them. So I'm going to do the operation here. And this one may seem kind of complicated, but it's not so much because once you get to the other side, you're going to have most of the things you need already done. So just putting those together with the intersection, the only thing that's the same is two and three. Am I correct on that? Out of these two, the intersection between C complement and B is the two and the three. Everything else is unique to one of the other sets. All right. 
Now we got to find out a complement. All right, let's go back over there and look. So we're looking at what's not in A. So A has a 1, a 2, a 4, and a 5 in it. If you can kind of, I want to cover those up, like with some kind of a your thumb. I wish I, could, I thought, had a way I could do that. Um, but what's not in A is the 3, the 6, the 7, and the 8. 3, 6, 7, and 8. All right. Now, the things that we're looking at are these two now. All right. We built the inside of that parentheses. We built the A complement. Now, again, we have to take a union of these two. And the union of these two, we don't need to look back now. So we're taking the union of those two. So that's two, three, six, seven, and eight. And as I said, is I got to write this in my hand. All right. So this is that side. Now, that was a lot of work, but if you've done all that, we're going to be able to use pretty much all of it without having to go back and looking at our diagram. So provided this was right, and I'm hoping that y'all were checking me as I went, so uh, that means we're going to be able to hopefully do these without having to do too much trouble. Because we got the A complement already done, we got the B complement. So what we're going to do now is take these two and put them together. And that's going to be OK. So we got to put them together as the union. So we're just going to put everything that's there. I should have made that a little bit longer so it didn't double over. So I think that's right. I'm looking at the right ones. B and A complement. So that's two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So we already got the left-hand side done. We didn't have to go back and rewrite them. We just used the ones we've already done over here. Now we're going to take... This one that's already done, and we're going to put it together with this, and that's going to be our intersection. So I'm, I'm intersecting those, so I just need to have the ones that are alike. And the only ones that are alike are the, the two, the three, and the seven. So there's we got. So compare this. these 
two statements. There we go. Okay, questions? Well, I'm going to do, uh, if you find one, I'll do it. But I want to uh, have to go through and look at That's the only two I got uh, right here in my lesson. I'm going to do one of the, um, the, um, the applications, which is kind of the same thing. It's just that we're doing it with the real data set. So if we, I want to make sure we get through at least one of those. So if we get one through one of those, we should have time. Because remember, I still got to call the roster. Truthfully, we got like uh, just a little over a half an hour. So I want to make sure I get through at least one of those. Now, we're also going to have Thursday to do some review as well. So don't feel too panicked. I just, uh, you know, we missed that day. So we're a little bit more rushed than I intended to be. All right, I'm going to do this quick. I think I can uh, look and see who most people in here. Essence of C, I saw Shia, Shika. It's here. Kennedy, I see. Anja, I see. Chloe, I see. Javante. I see Georgia Hayes, Nathan Abair, Lena, I see Diana Jackson, Darian, Mercedes, I see Mercedes. Lamont Shell, I see. Catherine's usually here and next year. Raymond. Serena. Price. Sarah Rose. Danielle, I see. Oh, uh, Gavin, I see, Kina, I heard there, Jalen. Okay, Jalen Washington is the only one. Oh, I see. And then Latarsha. Wow, everybody's here. All right, Did what's the question? What's that? Did you get me? Yes, 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 okay. yes. I'll call you two or three times if I don't. Here, if I don't see or hear from you. Okay, so um, the okay, so is the post the the second part of the um the last question we just did, where is the um opposite A union B um intersect? What that's supposed to be an intersect symbol? That's what that is. I don't know what to call it. Sorry, I'm missing it. But the which C, one you're talking about? The second part of the second question we just did. Now, is that supposed to be the end that, unites everything, right? It only takes the stuff that's the same. The intersection, the one that's the upside down you, that's things that are the same. Okay, and the the end is everything that's different. The U, the union, means that you put together all of them in one pot. It's the sum of both of them. Okay, so the U means everything goes together, and the N means just take everything that's the same. Yeah, this one right here, this is the intersection here. That's the intersection. That's where you take the common elements. It's like a crossroads. Well, that's why they call it an intersection. It's where they're the same. Okay. But if it's union, then you just take them and put them all together. You essentially, uh, usually end up with more 
when you're doing the union and with the intersection, you're, it's going to be fewer usually. You're being eight in that last one though, and the what? what about it? Um, if it's intersecting, there should be an eight in there too on the second part of the second question. Okay, what are you talking about here? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, so okay, you're right. Decipher everything here. You're right. Thanks. You're right. Yeah, see there, because we're doing the A and the A. Right. So, now, now you added a, 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 now it's supposed to be things that's not inside the C, right? When we're talking about this one, the opposite of C is everything that's not, uh, um, that's everything that's not inside the C, right? Yeah, and that's the same thing with the A complement. We had an A complement, and then we had a C complement. Never mind. So everything that's not in C is what's called C complement. Everything that's not in A is what's called A complement. But okay. that didn't change this one. I just wanted to point out this didn't change because I done it already last night. And I knew that they were not the same. So um, they have to be exactly the same to be. Yeah. Mr. Cruz, you're doing it a little bit too fast for me at the moment because you ran through that really quickly. And it's saying that if, if you're telling me that I'm supposed to take the opposite of C, that means everything that's not in C, right? That means that if it's seven is in C, then seven shouldn't be in this answer right here. Am I correct? Well, hey, let me see. Okay. I'm talking, Let's yeah, go back over here. That, and, and it just blew me away, and I'm confused because it seems like it's not accurate. That's all I'm saying. Well, it might well be. I might have made one little mistake. I'm, I'm going to go back and check it. So there's C right there. So everything that's not in C is one, two, three, and eight. See that? And everything not in A is three, six, seven, and eight. Were those right? But like I said, we'll have another day, open day on Tuesday to go, I mean, sorry, Thursday to go through everything. But I just want to make sure we hit one of these applications. And uh, like I said, we'll have time to, we still got a half an hour. So I wanted to go through one of these because this is kind of the final stuff. It all caps off with this. All right. An online music service surveyed 500 customers and found that 270 listened to hip hop music, 320 listened to rock, 160 listened to country. In addition, 140 listened to both rock and hip hop, 120 listened to rock and country, and 80 listened to hip hop and country. Finally, 50 listened to all three. Draw a Venn diagram to represent this. And then, uh, and then answer the questions, basically. Now, it might be tempting to just jump to these questions, but unless you can picture these things in your head, it's not going to be an easy task. So let's go ahead. and draw this out. Now you need three circles and I'm going to do um, a black one, 
a blue one. Thanks for doing that, uh, Catherine, because I know the people are still dealing with that. All right. Now, you don't really need to put in the Roman numerals here unless you really want to. You just got to realize that what each one of these represent. All right. So let's try to take our time on this one. Because I was rushing through that just because I'm a little bit concerned. I wanted to get to this because this is kind of the previous one is more theoretical. This is an application that deals with something specific. But you're really doing the same things. All right. Oops, what am I saying? All right, so uh, generally speaking, what you want to do is work from the center out. So if you have the center most value, why is it not changing? Uh, actually, so if you got questions, ask because that's the best way to slow me down. Like I said, it is it's just um, easy for me to get rolling. So right here, which is the last one mentioned, they're saying that fifty listen to all three of these kinds of music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and write a big fat 50 in that centermost region. In other words, I'm going to put 50 right here. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and label these because we're going to need to have that. So it was uh, what type of music? Hip hop, rock, and country. So I'm going to mark that as the hip hop rock and country okay you don't need to write the whole thing out unless you really need to know it's just something to identify so you know where to put it out now back over there at that question So we've used that 50, but let's back up now. And it says 80, listen to hip hop and country. Now you have to be really on your toes here about what they're saying. They're saying hip hop and country total, okay? They don't say hip and hop and country only. They're saying as a totality. So it doesn't matter about that center thing, but because and I'll just kind of draw a little thing around here. What's it? So hip hop and country. So this is hip hop and country right here. Now, if I want to have 80 inside of that little football that I've got outlined, that little gray football, then what do I need to write right here? What number needs to go right here? Yeah, I have to subtract out that 50 because they're already in there. So if I write 30 now, then how many is in the hip hop and country football? Now there's 80. All right, so questions, I'm trying to slow down a bit. All right, so let's go back over to the other and see what the next number is we're going to deal with.
120 listen to rock and country. So again, there's no mention of only. So it means the whole football now of rock and country has to add up to 120. It's rock and country. So rock and country now is this one. Uh, I erased it when I hit that other mouse key. So that's got to add up to 120. We've already got 50. So that means what goes in here, it goes is 70. Okay. Any questions on that? And then the last one is gonna be hip hop and rock. And that's 140. So that's going in here. This whole thing has to add up to 140. So uh, minus and out the 50 that's already in there. There's 90. So did I get those right? That's why I know that it's good for me to slow down because like I said, I'll go fast and invariably make a mistake, but I feel pretty confident here because I have slowed down. Y'all okay? Still alive? Okay. All right, so the 70 was over here, right? That was the uh, rock and country. After we subtracted out the 50, we got the 70. And then this one, the uh, hip hop and rock, after we subtracted out the 90, I'm sorry, the 50, we got 90 left. All right, now the other ones, you got to watch what they're saying. All right, there's three other ones here. And then uh, all of them have to add up to 150. But we got 160 listen to country, uh, 320 listen to rock. So let's do the 160 listen to country. And the reason why I'm saying this is because they don't always say the same thing. Uh, there was another one that I remember uh, looking at that I remember looking at. It was one of, the, I guess, one of the um, review problems in the uh, practice. It says something like only, but this doesn't mention only. It says um, country is equal to 160. So that's an equal sign. So this whole circle has to add up to 160. So how many do we need to put in there? There's 30 and 70, that's 150. So there's gonna be 10 more going there, okay? Hundred and fifty already in there. So the other one, I'll just bring it back. It's a three twenty. Listen to rock.
So that means this one um, has got to add up to 320. We've got already uh, 140 and 70. What is that? 140 and 70. Is that 210? Make sure. So add up these three in here. So 210, yeah, 110, all right, and then the last one, uh, the uh, hip pump, I'll just go over and grab it, uh, 270. So this whole one has to add up to 270. So we got um, 90 and 50 and 30. What's wrong? 90, 50, 140, and then the 30. So that's uh, minus 170. So verify that for me. All four of those should add up to 270. All right, now, are we finished? Well, no, because we got to remember there's one more outside here. This is region one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the, there's going to be eight numbers. I didn't put the regions because we don't necessarily need them because we're really not uh, worried about which regions. We're just going to be worried about the numbers inside of the regions. So now there were... So everything inside of every one of the regions has to add up to 500. So what I'm going to do is add up all the numbers here. In other words, 100 plus 90 plus 110. Which seems to be 200. So that's 300 along that way. And then I got these three, which was 150. And then I got it under 10. So all the, um, in other words, you could write it like this if you wanted to. A, union B, adds up to 460. All right. Now, there has to be four, uh, four, uh, 500 under here, so... So there's 40 that evidently listen to jazz or classical or something like that. They don't listen to any of these. All right, questions. Because once you got those, then answering the questions are going to be easy for the most part. But generally, you've got to have one of these drawn out to answer the questions. So this now, if you got a question before we move on, let me know on how we got anything.
All right, going, going, going. All right, so now uh, I'm going to have to erase all this over here to kind of um, make room for the questions because we need to ha be looking at this. Oh, great. An easy way to cut these out, but there's not. But all you got to do is hit the other mouse cut, and it undoes everything that you've already done. i to keep my little finger up away from that other mouse key. All right, so let's see if I can uh, copy these questions. All right, so what are we looking at for only hip hop? This is what we call region one, if you have those, uh, if you have the Roman numerals in there. So you got any questions about that? That's the ones that only listen to hip hop. There are a hundred of them. And you really could not have answered that without going through the process of making this Venn diagram, unless you're some kind of a savant that can picture this in your head, but I can't do that. So I gotta draw it out. All right, listen to rock and country. Now here's where you gotta pay attention. Rock and country, but not hip hop. So if we're just looking at rock and country, let's see. Rock and country is that football right there. We already um, kind of figured out there was 120 in there. But what we want to do, but not hip hop. So again, we're looking at this. Because those are the people that listen to rock and country, but not hip hop. And the numbers are in there. Okay, did I get that right? Any questions? Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. Technically, yeah. It's it's just the, all of the ones in the circles added up. You're right. I'm just going to use the use in the classical one, so. All right. Don't listen to any of these three types of music. Don't listen to country music. Well, let me kind of just try to do this for you. Um, 
don't listen to country music. I'm going to cover up the country music circle. Okay, so anything but the ones that I've got hashed out that's in the country. So what is that? That's 100 plus 90 plus 110 plus 40. And if I'm not mistaken, that's 340. So there we got it. We got a, a draw in Venn diagram. And then we've got um, the questions answered. And you're right, this was H Union R Union C. All right, any questions at all about this? We only got about five minutes left. So Thursday we're gonna have a review of everything, anything. Uh if you've done if you've not finished your um your learning path, I would still recommend going in there and working on that practice test because that practice test is gonna allow you to know what's important for the test. And so that should be the focus of our review on Thursday, okay? Now, um, if we got anybody that needs, still needs help with the, uh, um, Getting the browser thing start out, stick around. Otherwise, you can go. I got the roster done, all right? So we don't need to. Uh... Mr. Cruz? Mm-hmm. I have a quick question. Yeah. So on, so on Alex, um, they had this question. It's under identifying well-defined sets. Yes. So it's, like, so it's like they ask you. I just want to make sure. So they ask you, like, um, is it okay if I read it to you and tell you what it says? Sure, go ahead. Okay. So it says, Tony made a list of the 200 people he invited to his wedding. He divided the list into three categories, family, friends, and co-workers. Each person was assigned to exactly one category. After the wedding, Tony determined that 175 people attended out of the 200 he invited. The names of those who attended and those who did not attend were recorded in another list. Based on this information, determine if each set is well defined, and then it asks you if the sets are well defined. They ask you questions. Okay, well, so if you're able to list them out from that description, then yes, it's a well defined set. Usually, what makes a set not well defined is if it's something kind of nebulous, like you know, he divide, you know invited smart people and not smart people. So as long as you're able to list the elements by some kind of a clearly defined manner, and it sounds like it is, like coworkers and then uh, friends, so they're gonna be, you should be able to go and put those into one group. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, so I wasn't here for like the beginning part, but I have mm -hmm. two questions. So for the respond this um, thing, it's telling me to take a picture of my ID, but I don't have a school ID. So do you just want me to take a picture of my uh, like driver's license? That'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. And for taking the test, 
So are we doing it at a set time or do I set up a time? To take a okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is we'll talk about this Thursday. Right now the test is actually open, but um, I kind of figured that, go, that we, it's kind of, uh, and it's supposed to close Thursday. So on Thursday in class, we'll talk about possibly extending it. But the problem, the reason why I just didn't automatically extend it is because that's a holiday weekend and I won't be able to um, be around, you know, to answer things. Plus, I hate to do that for people in general to give them stuff to do, especially like a test over holidays. So that's kind of the logistical thing. But we'll talk about that on Thursday when we review. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I was just wondering because yeah, like, I, I, I can take this I give you like three days usually um, to take a test. It doesn't have to be on one specific day or time because I, I know people are, uh, you know, they uh, may not have the best environment necessarily during class time. And it's going to be hard to deal with 30 people taking a test at the same time. That's the point of having the, um, the respondus thing and then having to identify. So that way I can go back and look at it later if there's any questions. Okay. I have a quick question, um, and it may be a silly one. Um, if we have to go ahead and work out a problem while we're taking the test on responses, is it okay that we have scratch paper? Oh, yeah. I mean, you always should be working on paper unless you there's something that you can do in your head, which, you know, there's probably maybe a few things like that. But for the most part, you want to be working out on paper. So the only things you know you want to have is you have your calculator. And I do think there's a calculator built in there. On, yes, sir. On ASICs, uh, but you can have a, a separate calculator like the one that TI um, 30X2 is the official one. Or, and okay. then you can have uh, paper and then you have, you know, something to write with. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right, well, I'll stick around for a couple of minutes. I'm going to try to get some uh, eating here. I got a two uh, two o'clock class, so I got to get a few things done. But I'll come back in a couple of minutes to see if there's any other questions. Because I know there's people that just stay around in here and they're not necessarily wanting things to ask things. Proper sets, subsets, or any subsets except one that's exactly equal to the set itself. That would be, I think it's in the second, third lesson, but, um, oh, great. Well, I mean, that's why I'm here. I mean, I got certain time to talk to you before and after class. I mean, you got to remember, the school has tutoring that you can do, walk-in tutoring. You know, you can go on Zoom and do it, and they may as well be open over there now. Well, online, you just uh, you go into Canvas and you look at when you first go in, there's a list of things 
like announcements and at some point in there they've got one about the the zoom addresses for the tutors and i mean on the west bank campus i think there's some actually working over there too i'm not sure how they're working it but i'm not over there anyway sure. let me see if i can find a You can go back and look at the notes, but I was trying to find uh, something about proper subsets to show you. But proper subsets got to be fully contained within another set. If it's equal, then it's not proper subset. So check out that uh, link. Uh, <clears throat> 